Hey, David here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to do the brooch frame display. So the little brooches are like decorative pins that you can put on your clothing. So uh, I'm going to try and use this piece here. I'm not sure if it would work. It might be hollow. So I'm going to do a two inch thick border and cut this all out. And then in the insert will be this uh, foam. And use this foam. It's a multi-purpose foam. And then over that I would put a uh, fabric. And then you can pin the brooches onto there. And then have this hanging on the wall. So what I'm not sure is if this would work. How hollow it would be and how I can use it. So it was just an experiment. Try it out. It doesn't work. We think of something else to do. Stick around, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. So uh, yeah, let's work on this. All right, so here goes nothing. I'm gonna try this out, see if this works. So I marked two and a half inches all around. I set up the router with a quarter inch straight bit and the edge guide. So I just need to have some stops so I don't go all the way past it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap that square in the middle. Take that out, hopefully. So let me put some edge stops. I'll be right back. All right, let's do this. I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of it. I'll be right back and then we'll see if this is going to work. If not, we'll have to think of something else. So stay tuned. Alright, so as I was thinking this would be the case. Yep. So, just trying to think how I can do this. See, the problem is if I take all this out, just not sure. Let's see if this works. I'm going to go ahead and go deeper and see if I can remove all this uh, cardboard, I guess. Yeah, so I wanna keep that underneath this part. So let me go ahead and go around a little deeper, see if I can get all this out, and then see how sturdy it is on the edges, and if I can still use this or not. We'll find out. Alright guys, so I figured some of it out right now. So I'm going to put a, a frame inside here. Uh, there's a little sample. I'm going to use these pieces of board and cut miters and make a frame. So I'm going to put a frame inside and be able to tack it in there. But also, before I do that, I'm going to put a uh, rabbit on the back and then fit in a backboard using this material most likely. So that would lay in the back of the frame and then I can put that whole piece inside there and then I can tack it in and then I'll be able to put the foam inside here. So work in progress. Let's cut out the miters and make the frame and then go from there. See how it goes. Winging it, winging it, winging it. Alright so over here at the table saw, the cross cut sled, I'm going to make my, our miters. This is going to be in the inside of the frame. So I got this marked already, so I'm going to raise up the blade, make sure it's 45 degrees, which it should be. And the gauge. So it's going to be a little bit off. There we go, got it. It's got some miters, so I'm going to line it up right here. And we got to get our safety gear. All 
All right, so I got the frame roughed in and I got the backer board. Just got to refine it a little bit more after I do the rabbits. Uh, so yeah, it's coming out pretty good so far. I'll cut out the rabbits now. I'll do it this thickness. So we'll do it on the table saw. Great. Right, time to glue up. So I put everything in upside down so I can put the back on it and then I can take it out and flip it over. I'm going to use some Type Bond 2 wood glue. All right, so everything's glued up, clamped. So I'm gonna let this dry, then I'm gonna flip it over and get started with the foam. See how that goes. Okie dokes, I'll be right back. So I just finished sanding it smooth and uh, now I'm gonna do the Roman OG router bit. Put it over the edges, give it a nice decorative look. Okay. Alright, so the frame here is completed. Now I want to put some stain on it. But first I'm going to put some pre-stain. Since this is soft pine wood. I don't want any uh, blotchiness. So I stirred it up. Let's brush here. So let me go ahead and finish this all up. I'm going to let it dry for two hours and then put the stain on it. And while that's drying, I'll work on the, uh, the foam padded area. All right. All right, so I'm going to use this cutoff piece as the backer board for the, uh, the foam and the uh, fabric to go on. So I just need to cut it to fit into that frame. So it's about 14 and an eighth. I'll try that, see if that's enough to give me some wiggle room. So when I get the foam and fabric on, then I can just glue this into that frame. Alright, so I need to shorten it up just a little bit. So this is the 2 inch multi-purpose foam. I'm going to use this backer board to measure that on there. Let me cut it all out. So now the next part will be to spray adhesive this foam onto the backer board. I'm going to use some Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. So that's stuck on there good. And I got some of this uh, black velvet fabric. See that? Measure it up, see how much to cut off. All right, so I got this arrow uh, electric stapler. It has uh, half inch staples in it. So I'm gonna fold up these corners and staple them in. Maybe not. So change of plans. Now I'm using the brad nailer. 
Murano will be battery powered. So I'm gonna go ahead, put some nails in this. That seems to work. Let me finish the rest of it. this up. Alright, so I put the walnut stain. I want to make it darker. So I'm going to try some Carrington. See how that goes. So I think that's going to look much better. Alright, so let me get the rest of that done and we'll see how it looks. Alright, so there's a stain right now. I'll let that dry. Alright, so I sprayed some polyurethane on this. Seal in that stain. It's a pretty vintage kind of look, I think. Alright, so I'm going to just let this dry some more. And then I'll have to fit in the, the foam and fabric okay everything is dried up time to glue it all together and then figure out how to mount this onto the wall so i'm going to use some wood glue and star bond thick ca glue i think that would work best for this so i'm just gonna hurry up spread that all in there Alrighty, that looks beautiful. Now we just gotta glue the frame inside to here. Alright guys, so it's all done. I just installed the French cleat. So I just need to put this part onto the wall. So you'll see that at the end after I gift this on Christmas. So here we go. The brooch framed holder. Out of reused wood. Some uh, multi-purpose foam and some velvet material. So you can pin up these brooches around here. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment what you think about this. All right, and I'll catch you later.